Okay, so what we're going to do is compare January 2021 to January of 2020. How are those two months shaking out? Did the inventory increase? Did our market velocity continue through January when historically it doesn't? My name is George Moorhead with Benchley Properties. We're going to go over all of the market stats. We're going to go over what we are trending, coming on market, going off market, what to expect. And in the meantime, make sure you subscribe, share this with the people that you know that are looking at making a move, and this way they can get real-time information. The best part is it's not 30 days old, it's not 90 days old, like you, you see in the media, this is real-time, and it's free. So hit subscribe, hit the little bell so you're alerted. Uh, if you have questions, hey, ask your questions. Let us know what they are. We typically respond in about 30 days. So with that, Let's hit it. January 23rd, how did we do year over year so far? So our inventory is again, still down 46.7%. This, this number is gonna change and start changing, uh, I would say aggressively in the April, May timeline because in 2020, that's when we really started drawing down numbers. In the first part of 2020, it actually stayed at a higher level. Okay, and then started dropping. So this number is going to change. When we talk about new on market, we're up 14.6 year over year. However, because the velocity, because the momentum has continued into January as predicted, you'll note here, that isn't really a big difference. So we had 949 homes coming on market in the last seven days. Last week it was 946. It's not a big difference. So we're still seeing good activity Year over year though, we are still seeing that momentum and that's why we put the number up here. As far as pended, we're up 15.4% year over year. Now, when we take a look, this last seven days, 1,476 versus 1,394. Okay, well that's a modest amount. So that's uh, showing that the market is still, still moving. It's still very aggressive. Now, the one difference is that our solds are at 874 and last week we're at 1,002. Yet, we're still up 16.6 .6 year over year. Okay, so year over year, it just shows that we're doing better. But as we get closer to April, May, June, we're gonna get a more consistent pattern of what we've experienced the last eight months. Now, this, remember, will be December sales. And the December numbers were November sales because we're always looking in the rear view mirror when it comes to sales because once they go, once they go pended, right, we still have to remove all of our contingencies, our inspection, our financing, our title, the form 17, and then move on to an actual closing. So there's always that lag of 30 to 45 days. Now, these numbers are more real time because that's what's happening today. Same thing with pended, that is more real time, that's what's happening today. Sold, we're always looking in the rearview mirror on those, so it's still a good metric, but what you're gonna see is this number and this number bobble a little bit over the next couple of weeks because of gas, Christmas, and New Year's. Now, when we talk about actual amount of appreciation year over year, we saw eight to 12% appreciation, residential only, year over year, based on prior activity of 2020. Yes, that is awesome. Yes, that also means that buyers have less buying power because the, the value of the homes are going up. And so it is posing, well, a little bit of a challenge, especially for buyers that have been in the market and looking for a home for the last six months. They're looking at it and they're watching this house get a little bit further away and a little bit further away and having to consider either other price points or considering other areas in order to secure that home. Now, are we going to continue to see this through the Q1 and Q2, first quarter and second quarter? Without a doubt, 2021 is going to be a very aggressive market. We are going to continue to see the momentum continue. And in fact, historically, where January to mid-February has always been a historically real estate ghost town, uh, that's, that is not happening this year as predicted that because we're already quote unquote still staying at home, people have that time to look for that next home. So it has continued to push forward. Now, will February through June still be an aggressive market? 
absolutely. Last week, we had seven conversations with sellers that are looking at March to June. And you might say, well, that's kind of weird. Why not now? Okay, well, the average seller takes three to six months to get ready to be on market. Now, yes, there are, there are sellers that are ready to go today. But on the average, you know, there's updates. There's things that they want to do to get their home ready to go to give the best impression to a prospective buyer. And it takes three to six months to get there. BentleyContractors.com, if you're considering making a move this year, this is a great place to go look because they're vetted. Uh, there's no strings attached, but the best part is you get great customer service. It's one of the three requirements. They have to give great customer service. They have to return your phone call. And if you are not happy, they must do what it takes to make it right, within reason. And that's the only way they make it on this list. They are vetted. Uh, because I build homes as a hobby and have done so for 27 years, the key thing is that you have access to those accounts, to those vendors that provide us that level of service. Now, if you have any other questions, again, post it. We'll help you answer that. All right. When we talk about rates, rates, even though they bobbled up to 3% a week ago, bobbled back down to 2.7, 2.8, they bobbled back up again, they're back down to 2.75. That's par pricing, meaning no cost for the loan, okay? Non-owner occupied is 3.375. <laughs> that is still an amazing rate. So those are numbers for you to keep in mind. If you see numbers lower than this, there is a high probability you are buying that rate down, you're getting a teaser rate, okay? So be very careful. If you're doing an online uh, mortgage company, please be very careful. We've uh, had some clients that had a very bad experience, had to bring in one of our lenders and do the 11-day close, uh, which they were able to do it faster. But understand, you must stay on top of them. And yes, they are hard to communicate with. And yes, you deal with not the same person every time. Sorry. But uh, sometimes there's that cost versus benefit, and you need to be mindful of that, but have your backup plan in place. All right, here we go. Two weeks of inventory. We've actually drawn down, which is what we see here. We have the same number of homes coming on for the last two weeks, but the number of tended properties, homes coming off market, has increased. Even last week, 1,394 pended versus this week, 1,476. You might say, okay, why is that a big deal? We only had 949 come on market. That's not that many. Even though this number year over year is great, this number needs to be twice that just so that we can keep up because there's a massive pent up of buyer demand out there. So if you're a seller and you're on the market, hey, BentleyContractors.com, start getting your home ready, start having conversations, start interviewing agents to make sure you get the right fit. Uh, when we talk about pricing, pricing is super important. If you overprice, you're KOD. You might say, what's KOD? <laughs> Kiss of death. Understand, buyers are hugely smart these days. We've had a couple of conversations where they're saying, you know what, George, you just said the market's crazy and there's a massive pent up demand. I want this price. Give me this price. Okay, understand. Buyers are smart. They're not going to go out and do something stupid crazy, all right? You need to pull it back. You need to make sure that you are in the price point of what buyers will consider. And yes, we are seeing multiple offers. Yes, we are seeing escalations, but we're seeing escalations based on value. They're not going to overpay for a home. I'm just telling you, it's not going to happen. If your home is not selling within the first seven to 10 days, you are three to 4% overpriced. Sorry, I can prove it statistically. If you've been on the market longer than 20 days, 40 days, you are five to 8% overpriced for the market. I can prove it. If you would like, we can take a look at it and I'll show you how the metrics work. Be very careful. Sentimental value has a zero value to it. You might love your home. You might think that, you know, you did, you raised your family here. Or you did all this improvement. You're so proud of it. Hey, listen, I'm sorry. That's called sentimental value. And there's a zero value for it. The buyers don't have that emotion. They have the emotion of what is the value? What is the maximum value I'm willing to pay for a home that's going to meet the needs of my family, right? 
Sentimental value is not one of those factors. Sorry. All right. So with that, if you guys have any questions, make sure you post it. Look at this. Go through the video again. Share this video with anybody that's, that you know is looking at making a move. It's free. Make sure you subscribe. It is chilly outside. Make sure you stay warm out there and have a great weekend. I'll see you guys uh, next week. Take care.